best bud stuck into a cork. White acres on a short pole. Having a little bit of a problem because he hasn't got a pullet kit in his pole. And I think on commercial waters they're essential. He's got a fairly soft drenon yellow hollow, rated at 10 to 12. I mean there's no danger of getting the fish in, it's just him a little while, but I should think he's having fun. And uh, oh, he's getting enthusiastic now. He's standing up. I don't know if that means he thinks he's going to net it. But see if we can get you a close-up of the fish. It's not forget though it is tiring. You can see the float quite clearly. But this fish is one of those ones that doesn't want to give up. I have to scoop him, bud. Yeah. Mind you, so and my arm holding this camera filming it. No, it's only because you haven't got a puller kit and it, Mick, that's all. If you'd had a puller kit, you'd have had him out a long time ago. he's got is quite capable of uh, landing a 20 pound fish with that. He's got adrenaline ready for his ring on. We can't see if he's good quality rig. Well made, I know it's not going to let him down. I mean, nice fish. Show him about the angler, but there you go. But we're seeing a few more swirls now, so close to it. This is a thing, if you use hollow elastics, you really do need to use a puller kit. He's experiencing his first proper white acres scrap on his first visit here and he's uh, had a bad day because uh, he snapped a rod. So I think this is a bit of compensation for it. Now this fish is dogged fighter. Give us that stand up mate. He's just ploughing backwards and forwards. I wouldn't be surprised if this fish is approaching double figures.
and he's surging off again though the runs are getting shorter and he's boiling more which means he's close to the top and he's decided he's going to go for a little more. that pressure's finally getting to him I think because we've actually seen the fish now Freddy <laughs> well you could do if you want to risk it Mick but I think that's a bit dodgy That's it, it puts some pressure on him. Let him just let the elastic just make him work for it. He surged off out into the lake again. Now I don't know. <laughs> he seems to have got a new lease of life. I think this one must be on steroids. Because he's going for it. Kick the pole no bud though. Low to your low to your right. Low to your right. Side strain him. Yeah, I think we need to get you a pull up bug in that, mate. So, I've been videoing him for six and three quarter minutes so far. And Listen to me learn, everybody. Pull up bugs with hollow elastics. Without them. Um, this is what happens. I mean, he'll win. Park crashing over there. Yeah. Mind you, we all might, you know, be here till Christmas at this rate. As you can see, it's just surging up and down. Short, powerful run, so I think it's a good fish. Go on, Mick, stand up and give it some beans, otherwise you will be here all day. Is that where they've been splashing over there? Over there, over there. Yeah, get your feet over there. I don't want to scoop him in this, obviously. He's get. I wonder if this one's found hooked. <laughs> well, anyway, eight minutes plus whatever he spent fighting it before. I think I'll stop the camera for a little bit. And we finally have success. I managed to scoop him. And I'll pass my the net over to my mate and he can show you what he's got. And I think he's knackered. So, here we go. One solid. Oh yes. If that's not double figures, yeah, that's a double figure fish. That's deep and wide. Yeah, so, there we go, there we go, now that is a proper fish. Uh, and I'm